Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about sciatica pain relief, the quickest way to cure sciatica nerve pain. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Many of you may know or experience sciatic pains. Sciatic is the longest and thickest nerve in the body, maybe as thick as a finger. But sciatica is a nerve pain that can be caused by injury or irritation to the sciatic. It originated in the gluteal area. It branches along the foot and toes. The real injury to the sciatic is not that common, but any pain that originates from the lower back to the legs or from the legs to the toes can refer to sciatica. These pains all are caused by irritation, inflammation, injury, or compression to the nerve. Someone who has sciatica will feel mild or severe pain in every part of the body which has the sciatic nerve which includes hips, lower back, legs, or feet. It may have other symptoms like numbness, needle sensation in the foot and legs. Sciatica pain may show itself in different ways according to its cause. The sufferer of sciatica may have a sharp shooting burning pain which could be both constant and come and go. Mostly its pain is severe in the legs not in the lower back. Some reasons may cause the pain to feel worse such as standing up for a long time, or twisting the torso when you are standing, or any sudden movement in the body like a squeeze or cough. This pain often occurs in one leg, not both, but it is not impossible. Sciatica may be caused by a herniated disc, which is its most common reason. Discs are like cushions in the spine. When these discs get damaged by age or any injury the gel-like center of them becomes weak, and when someone moves the spine, the joints will push the sciatic nerve which causes sharp and unbearable pain. Other causes of sciatica are spinal stenosis, spinal tumors, piriformis syndrome, degenerative disc disease, spondylolisthesis, osteoarthritis, or cauda equina syndrome. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Treatment for Sciatica Bed Rest Traditionally, resting has been considered the best treatment for sciatica. Because sciatic pain will become worse and worse when you are moving, bed rest could be a great treatment for it. Some researchers have been done on this topic to examine the effectiveness of bed resting on sciatic pain. The result indicated that after 14 days, 75% of patients in the bed rest group reported improvement in their pains. They also experienced fewer symptoms. Cold and heat. Both cold and heat applications can reduce sciatica pain and help you to move better. As they can ease your pain, you can apply the heat or ice packs for about 30 minutes every two hours. Ice packs can reduce inflammation of the sciatic nerve which results in reducing pain. Ice packs shouldn't touch the skin directly, wrap them in the towel and place it on your lower back. You can also take the benefits of ice massages to relieve your pain. Massage with ice packs no more than 15 minutes, and repeat it after 2 hours. Medication. Pills can relieve your pain effectively, but it is not permanently. Maybe after 5 to 6 hours after using the medication, you will relieve pain, but it is short-term relief. You can use non-steroidal drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, naproxen, acetaminophen, etc. A steroid drug are also helpful, but you should have them just with the doctor's suggestion. You can also use other kinds of local pain medications like gels, creams, or patches. They can give you quick and effective pain relief. Don't worry about their side effects, because no side effects have been reported yet. Get an expert physical therapist. Physiotherapy is an excellent choice for those who suffer from sciatica. You can get diagnosed by a physical therapist and start your sessions as soon as possible. It can determine the exact place of your injury. And also it helps you to recover faster and better. Surgery. Surgery is not a good option for all sciatica sufferers. But it is a great option if your sciatica is caused by a herniated disc, and it has severe pain which lasts for 6 weeks. What is done in this surgery is the removal of a portion of the herniated disc to eliminate the pressure on the sciatic nerve. About 93% of patients who had this surgery get a huge amount of relief in their pain.
Muscle stretches. Exercise has many benefits for the body, but in this case, stretching and strengthening exercises can help you a lot to reduce the pain permanently. Exercise makes your muscles stronger and as the muscles are all around the joints, bones, and spine. When the muscle is strong, the pressure on the joints and bones is lesser. Sciatica exercises are mostly working on the core, which is the root of the sciatic nerve. It's better to use heat packs before exercising, it helps your tissues be more relaxed and loosened. If you want to treat your pain, even more, you should try S packs after the exercise. Many people may lie down all day when they feel pain, it might help, but it is not the best thing you can do for your pain. It is okay to have bed rest after you feel sciatic pains, but exercising will help you more because it makes your muscles stronger, it improves your range of motion and increases your flexibility, it can have a great impact on blood flow which helps to a faster healing process, and many other benefits. One of the best stretches for sciatica is the standing hamstring stretch. Stand up in a tall and straight spin, bend your body toward your legs, try to touch your toes with your fingers, if you can't touch your toes it's okay, don't push yourself so hard to hurt yourself. Hold the position for 30 seconds and do it three times. If your pain becomes worse right after you exercise, visit a doctor. If you haven't had sciatic pain yet, or you have had it before and now it is gone, there is always a chance of having it. So, you can prevent it by some easy steps like regular exercises, having a proper posture all day long, not lifting heavy objects, and when you have to, bend your knees at first and then lift the heavy things. And whenever you feel a strange pain in every part of your body visit a doctor immediately, there is always a reason for your pains. So, do not ignore them. Have you had sciatic pains? If yes, please share your experiences about its pain and its effective remedies in the comment section below. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.